Hey guys, welcome to LGH Project. My name is Salman Francis and in our fourth video of our Solaris uh, edition, we will take a look at Solaris Package Management or Image Packaging System known as IPS. So the command syntax is very simple. It's uh, The syntax is simple. You type the word package and give it the options such as PKG and then the options. So in order to list the packages, you use the command PKG dash list and to update the packages you use pkg update so let me take you to this um, solaris box okay and you can see that in order to list the package we use pkg list command and it will list all the packages okay and to update the package we use package update command so i'm not going to update the packages i have recently updated them so anyway let's go back to our slides okay so in order to list a specific package let's say a package is locally available on your system and you want to list the package so we are going to use package list and the uh, package name in our example it's going to be t-shark let me clear the screen pkg list t-shark and you can see it's giving us Full information about uh, that this the version is 1.12 and the package is part of Wireshark and it's present in the diagnostics group okay then listing a specific package which is not available locally so let's say this package uh, which is not available lo locally in our case it's going to be Tomcat let's take a look so if I this this package tomcat and you can see it's saying that no package matching tomcat installed so this means there is another way to list the package which is not available locally and it's very simple it's pkg list dash a tomcat and it's going to search for this package and you can see that it's part of java servlet and it's part of web group okay and the version is 6.02 and it's available but it's not available locally so this is how you search for a package which is not locally installed okay then um, to list the latest package without installing let's say we want to check what is the latest package of a specific uh, software is available so we use the command pkg list dash n option okay to check the newest uh, package so let's check and it's not going to install that package so pkg list dash n and uh, from here you can see that t shark 1.12.7 is uh, installed and let's say what's available The newest version so you can see that the newest version is 2.04-5 okay back to our slides okay dash v is the verbose option and it lists the fmri and the type this package belongs to it's very important so first let's uh, let's check what does it means pkg list dash v t shark okay so you can see it's giving us this fmri and it's telling us that the package uh, belongs to this publisher is solaris the group is diagnostics and the package is part of wireshark and then this is the version and this is fmri also so let's go to our slide and I'll explain you what does FMRI uh, stands for. So FMRI stands for Fault Management Resource Identifier. And this is a scheme in which there's a publisher, the package name and the version. So for example, we have seen that PKG list dash V T shark gave us this FMRI where Solaris is the publisher. Wireshark is the software or you can see the package and 1.12 is the version okay so 
if we want to list something with respect to the group, so let's say you want to see what packages does the group diagnostics hold. So we are going to run this command package list dash a diagnostics. So let's go to our screen. So the command is pkg list dash a and diagnostics forward slash asterisk close. And now it's going to list. I think I missed something. No stick, not sticks. Okay, here. So it's showing me all the uh, packages or the softwares available in this diagnostic group. Okay, let's say I want to search for a specific um, package. So I can always grab it with uh, the grab command and let's call it T shark we are looking for let's say and here it is so perfect so this is how you can search for the individual package okay back to our slide okay for the web package the same way you can uh, do this uh, for the web group uh, let's call it web And it's going to list everything in the web group. And let's say you want to search for Apache. And you can grab Apache. Here it is. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to our slide. So, okay, one very important command. That is package info command. And it's give you the complete information about a specific package. So let me clear the screen and pkg info for T shark will give you the name where it belongs to uh, the category its applications internet the state is installed okay and the build release the fMRI everything and the size everything regarding this package so this is a very handy command so you must remember this let's pkg info command and the package name Okay, so to update individual package, you are going to use uh, package update and the package name. But you can always check the updates with pkg list dash u command. So let's check. pkg list dash u will give you uh, the packages available for update, but you can see that they are in the I state. Okay, so O means obsolete. I is install. Okay. O means obsolete packages. Okay. So. Okay. So we have seen that what how you, we can update the individual packages. Okay, and to search for package, let's say we want to search for a specific package, uh, let's say nmap, we are going to use the command pkg search nmap, so let's do that. pkg search nmap. And it's going to search for this package, and here it is. So it's part of diagnostic group, and this is available. So in order to install this package, we can use pkg let me let me clear the screen pkg install and map this is how you install the package and you can see it's installing 4.9 megabytes is the size and it's done working on the database and soon it will be created like installed okay perfect now if we want to check if this package is available we can use package info and map and here it is we can see that now it's installed okay and what about this and map 
if we try to run nmap. And it's working. Good. Now, in order to uninstall the package, we use the same command but with uninstall and the package name. On ins uninstall, not uninstall. And map. Yeah, bad spellings. Okay, so it's going to uninstall this package, and then we can check with the package info command to check if it's installed or not. Okay, pkg info and map. And you can see that no package is matching the following pattern. So perfect, this is how we uninstalled uh, the package. And that's it guys, that's the basic of IPS or package management with uh, Solaris. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook. You can always visit our Facebook page at Facebook slash Linux King 77. Go to our website at pings.com and join our Facebook group. It's facebook.com slash group slash LZH project. So thank you for watching and see you soon in our next video. Goodbye.